Good morning and welcome back to Prophetic Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. We're actually waiting on you. Click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when we're live here at PD Nation. I'm actually going live today. I have a really, really good word. So I want you guys there. Single and Ready series. I released a flyer yesterday. I got my sister Mia and my brother Tim coming through. I'm not putting Tim on the flyer because Tim is super busy. So I'm just waiting for him to... You know, let us know. Are you going to be there or not, brother? I'm so excited for you guys to meet our brother, Tim. Anyway, Single and Ready series is out now. The playback is also. So when you go to book here, you can either get the playback from March or do both and get the um, get a seat for this month, April 27th. I'll be in the building. Will you be there this Sunday, PD Society Circle, we're going to be talking about the threshing floor. Ruth and Boaz met on the threshing floor. The significance behind the threshing floor. You guys do not want to meet, miss this PD Society Circle. You don't want to miss any of them, but this one, you definitely want to be there. Everything else down in the description box. We got a lot going on here at Prophetic Diary. Welcome back, PD Nation. I'm a returning subscriber. I love you guys. The Lord gave me a really good word today, but you guys are going to have to be patient with me while I release it, while I give it to you, okay? This is going to be two videos, same word, different meanings, okay? Stick with me. So we are going to be in 1 Samuel 4, 1. The Philistines capture the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant embody the presence of the Lord. This is before Christ, right? The presence of the Lord. Only the high priest can touch the Ark of the Covenant. They were ordained by God, purified, cleansed enough to be able to touch the Ark of that Covenant. It was so powerful that if you even looked into it or opened it up, if you even touched it, you can die right the power of the lord the spirit of the lord the glory of the lord it's a powerful force to reckon with i don't recommend you playing with this somebody say and i'm not and i'm not so the ark of the covenant is captured the israelites went out to fight against the philistines the israelites camped out the philistines deployed their forces to meet israel and as the battle spread Israel was defeated by the Philistines. This is the same Ark of the Covenant that went before them. Only a priest can touch the Ark of the Covenant because it was that powerful before Christ. It carried the glory, glory of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, right? This is the same Ark that they have captured and it took it to their home. Somebody said, oh, they have problems. Somebody said, they don't know the presence that they were playing with. Somebody said, they had no clue. So that's just a little background, but we'll get more into that. We talk about these things in the PD Society Circle. That's why it's important for you to get there and be there. So what does this have to do with you? When they capture the Ark of that Covenant, which was your kingdom marriage, which was your blessings, which was your promises, which was the glory of the Lord on your life and the things he promised you, they had no clue that it can fight for itself. The angels around it, the seraphim angels that set on the Ark of the Covenant can fight for it. The things that God has in store for you will fight for themselves. I'm preaching to somebody, but y'all trying to act like I'm not. If God gave it to you, then there's already angels in the military already assigned for, assigned to it. The Israelites didn't have to go fight to get the Ark of the Covenant back. It made its way back home. It fought for itself. I'm preaching. I am preaching right now. Everything that God has for you, when you're not around, God is working it out. That presence of the Lord is fighting for your child, even if you're not in the classroom with them. The presence of the Lord is fighting for you and your husband, even if you haven't talked to him in months. The presence of the Lord fought for itself. The Lord said that this marriage union is yours. The Lord said that that job and promotion is yours. It doesn't matter how much dirt they throw on your name. The presence of the Lord will fight that battle for you. It fought on its own. When that dragon, when they woke up the next day, that dragon was on his face. 
somebody say on its face. Everybody that came against you, somebody say is going to be on their face. Everyone that tried to stop you from getting a kingdom marriage, stop your growth from becoming the woman or man that can receive a kingdom marriage. Somebody say on their face. Somebody say, God is fighting for my marriage and I'm not even around. God is taking care of things when I'm not even around. The children of Israel was not around the Ark of the Covenant, but it was doing its thing. Somebody say, it was doing its thing. God, somebody say, my blessing, my blood, your gifts and your talents make room for you. Somebody say, it's make it's making room for me. That's why you see signs of confirmations of discernment and all these things happening. That's why God is giving you visions of your spouse and you're having dreams and you're feeling things and you're knowing things that are secret because that's the presence of God working it out for you when you, I'm, I'm preaching today. I wish I was on live. God is working it out for you when you got when you're sleeping. God's giving you a dream. Somebody say he's working it out for me. You got to have faith in your Lord to know that I don't have to be desperate. I don't have to beg. I don't have to put on a show. I don't got to get all dressed up and look cute and, and act like this and act like that on Instagram. I don't have to go where he's at. I don't have to go where she's at. I don't have to put on a show. All I have to do is allow the presence of the Lord to fight for me. All I have to do is allow God to show me and tell me and direct me and instruct me in the ways that I should go. The Lord, the Holy Spirit would tell me what to pray for. I don't have to go in my prayer closet and be begging. The Holy Spirit is with me. Woo! This was a word. I got another word coming right after this word. If this word has blessed you in any way, hashtag the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord. It is fighting for you, family. I love you guys. Sign up for that one-on-one encouragement call. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.